If you are a student that is looking for a budget upgrade from your smartphone to jumpstart your photography journey, baka ito na yung camera na hinahanap mo. Hey, what is up, it's Gab, and you are now watching Gala ni Gab. Canon Philippines recently asked me kung pwede kong i-review ang kanilang bagong entry level for the RF mount. This is the brand new R100. Itong camera ang to ay targeted for beginners na gusto mag-upgrade from their smartphones na looking for a budget-friendly vlogging camera or their everyday photography camera. Before we dive into this camera, I want to say some disclaimer. This is not sponsored by Canon Philippines. They just provided me this camera to use it for a week. Everything I will say about this camera are purely from my experience while using this R100. So may mga bagay na nagustuhan ko dito sa camera and may mga bagay na tingin ko pwede pa siya mag-improve in the future. First of all, this camera ay for beginners so everything dito sa dials and especially the menus from the Canon system are very easy to use. As you can see, the video recording button ay mas madali na pindutin. Number two, kung hindi ka pa familiar sa DSLR or mirrorless cameras, madali mo ito magagamit for photography since meron itong full auto feature. Basta ilalabas mo lang sa bag mo, pwede ka na magkuha ng pictures at maganda na yung results. Number three, kahit beginner camera lang ito, napansin ko maganda itong gamitin kahit sa gabi at hindi mo mapapansin na medyo soft yung images. Number four, since sobrang liit niya, the form factor, you can bring it anywhere and alam naman natin na kapag malaki yung camera, minsan may lumalapit na guard para tanungin kung may permit ka ba o hindi. You don't have to worry with this camera. Perfect nung gamitin sa everyday uses and also sa mga biglaang gala, pwede nyo dalhin ito nang hindi kayo mag-worry. If gusto nyo makita yung sample photos, ilalagay ko din dito sa video na ito para makita nyo and more sample photos in the end of the video para makita nyo yung full details and capabilities nitong R100. Pero pag-usapan muna natin yung number 5 na nagustuhan ko sa features or upgrades from the previous cameras dito sa R100 ay this is now USB Type-C. Now for me, lahat ng gadgets ko ay USB Type-C na except dito sa aking Canon M50 na micro USB pa rin yung ginagamit. So upgrading to a USB Type-C, very convenient kung kailangan mong isaksak sa inyong laptop to transfer files. Lagi meron available na cord for this camera. Number 6 na nagustuhan ko sa feature ng camera ang to ay meron na siyang built-in eye detection autofocus which means kahit saan ka magpunta sa frame ng video, alam mong malinaw yung inyong face at hindi siya blurry pag nag-record ka ng video. Now let's talk about the cons or personally I didn't like about this R100. Number one na hindi ko nagustuhan dito sa camera ng to ay hindi siya touchscreen. Kung beginner ka na galing sa smartphone, you are expecting some sort of touchscreen lalo na sa mga ganitong camera. And para sa akin, mahirap siyang i-operate for the autofocus kung gusto mo i-focus sa mga area dito sa screen. Number two, I didn't like about this camera ay hindi siya flip screen. So kapag nagtitake kayo ng selfie, parang hindi mo siya makikita kung saan siya nakatutok since wala siyang flip out screen or flip up screen para makita mo sarili mo. It's not possible. So sa lahat na nabanggit ko pros and cons, the price of this camera will be around 42,000. Ito ba yung camera na para sa'yo? Let me know in the comment section kung bakit. Now, kung nandito ka pa sa video ito, here are some sample footages of this R100 and sample photos na ilalabas ko now. To summarize this video, this R100 is a good beginner camera but can do better. 
Ito ang introduction to the RF mount ng Canon and if you are planning to upgrade the RF lenses in the future, this is a good way to start your journey. So this is the end of the video. If you like this review, don't forget to subscribe. And again, this is Gab and you are now watching Kalani Gab.